Hello friends, Osiris here and the 7 star terror raid event for Blastoise is now live in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We're going to go over all the details for this brand new raid as well as the best Pokemon to solo this with in your game. <laughs> So with this seven star terror raid event for Venusaur finishing, we have another one ready to go. And it is going to be the Blastoise and it will be running as of recording this video from the 6th of March and running for a week until the 12th of March. Blastoise is going to be a steel terror type. It will be level 100. It will have its hidden ability Randish. We'll have the moves Hydro Pump, Flash Cannon, Aura Sphere and supporting options of Iron Defense Withdrawal, Shell Smash and Rain Dance. Of course, it's going to have that mightiest mark never be shiny and can only be caught once per save file and you are going to get good item drops with this one once again including those precious herba mysticas so we were questioning whether the herba mystica drops would continue from that venusaur raid and yes it is so we're going to have another week with a brand new terror raid where we're going to be able to get those herba mystica drops you're going to have a three percent chance Herba Mystica dropping in any of the raids that you beat the Blastoise with over this coming weekend. Alongside this, you're going to have the chance to get ability patches, capsules, bottle caps, other high cost items, and a bunch of steel terror shards, which can be helpful for building your teams. But like I say, this is the Blastoise, the details for it. It is running from the 6th of March and will finish up on the 12th of March, just before that seven star Charizard terror raid does come back into the games. So to access this terror raid in your game, you're gonna need to come down to your poker portal, make sure you are connected to the internet, then into mystery gifts, and then go to check poker portal news. This will just update all of your dens and then you'll be able to go to your map and locate the terror den and then head over to it. Now the build that we're going to feature in today's video is going to be Vaporeon. We did cover this build in our preview article, but knowing how the Blastoise sets up now, it's going to be very difficult for physical attackers to have much joy in this raid. So the Vaporeon is going to be a water type. It will have the fire terror typing. That is quite important. We'll have the held item of the Shell Bell. Level 100, hyper trained, of course, and all the details for this build will be down in the description below if you'd like to check them out after the video to get your build exactly like the one we've got here. Then the moveset is going to be Sunny Day, Calm Mind, Fake Tears, and Weather Ball. You can opt for Haze over Fake Tears, but it is quicker to run through the raid with the Fake Tears with this Vaporeon. The ability is the big important thing here with that water absorbability. And then the EV spread is going to be 252 in special attack, 252 in special defense. And then the remaining EVs, the four that we've got left over, is going to be dumped into that HP with a modest nature. So that is going to be the Vaporeon. We'll jump into the raid now and I'll show you how easy it can be to beat this Blastoise and use this build to farm for Herba Mysticas while the event is running. So when you first come into the raid against the Blastoise on turn zero, it's going to go straight away for a withdrawal. That's going to boost its defense stat by one stage, meaning that physical type attacks aren't going to be doing as much damage. And then after that, it is going to set up its shield, meaning that your attacks, no matter what you do until you can terrestrialize, aren't going to be doing that much damage either even if you are a special attacker but what we're going to concentrate on what i found to be the quickest method to run through the bastos is go for six car mines straight away with the vaporeon it's going to go for an iron defense uh, it will go for aura spheres it will go for flash cannons and it occasionally will go for the hydro pumps but if it goes for the hydro pumps it's just topping your health up so you're going to be in a fine position going forward but like i say for the next six turns all we're going to do at the start of this raid is go for these calm mines so we'll be right back when we've got these calm mines set up and we're plus six attack and plus six special defense to go forward in the raid after this point okay so here is our last our sixth calm mine so that puts us at plus six special attack and plus six special defense so we're good to start attacking now the first thing that we need to do first though is make sure that our sun is set up on the field so need to make sure that that sun is up so our weather ball is hitting for fire type attack damage and then we can start firing those off before we're going to be able to terrestrialize so you can see the weather ball we can just start attacking the blastoise here like i say with the shield up and us not terrestrialize we're not going to be doing too much damage here but we're just chasing to the point where we can terrestrialize then we're going to be able to do some really impactful damage and potentially break the shield while we're doing that. The big thing to keep an eye on here is obviously this turn when it does nullify the effect on its side of the field. But when the raid timer hits that 60% mark, it will nullify the stat boosts and abilities on our side of the field. So for that turn, 
we're going to lose access to water absorb and we're also going to lose all of our calm mind boosts but that's it's normally quite fine in this raid you don't really have too much to worry about like i said this early stage we're just chasing the point where we can terrestrialize and then we're going to be able to do some decent damage to the blastoise and the raid timer is not anywhere near that 60 percent on the raid timer yet so we're in a decent position got a, a bit of a lucky critical hit there if you do get a critical it, it definitely will help you out along the way but now we're going to be at the point where we can terrestrialize the sun is still on the field so this weather ball is still going to be a fire type attack really important just to keep an eye on the sun being active on the field when you are attacking because if it's not you're going to hit for normal type damage and into a steel type even with a, any amount of calm mind boost you're not going to be doing any good damage to the blastoise so just make sure the sun is in effect when you're utilizing the weather ball that's the only caveat with the uh, vaporian here you go with that terrestrialization in effect plus six special attack sun on the field we should be able to do some nice damage and as you can see there is the shield it is going to break here and we fully expect this next turn for the blastoise to basically go for a shell smash at this stage and then probably nullify the stat boost on our side of the field but that's kind of to be expected right it's going to drop its defense stats as well for a turn while it sets up that shell smash boosting its attack and its special attack by two stages but not really anything that we need to worry about because it doesn't really have a, a physical attack and move there's a turn where it nullifies the stats on our side of the field but now we're just going to go for another six car mines here because that is going to put us to the point where we're going to be able to close this raid out the sun is going to fade from the the field as well so we may as well take these turns it's not going to nullify our stats again in this raid so we're going to take the time just to go for these six car mines so we'll be back again when we've set these car mines up right and there is our second lot of car mines set up once again now we're going to concentrate on going for the fake tears that's going to lower the special defense on the blastoise by two stages every time we use it so we essentially want to use three of these now you don't really have to worry about the blastoise nullifying the stat drops on its side of the field until it hits that 50 percent hp mark so it's not around there yet there's no worries about us getting to that mark because we've got pretty much two special uh one special attacker on the field next to us it's not going to be doing too much damage and then two physical attackers that aren't going to be taking it below that 50 percent health before we are set up so as i say go for those three fake tiers at this stage and then we want to set the sun up and then we're going to be in a position where we can just launch those weather balls off you do have to worry about things like a critical hit coming out from the blastoise especially with those aura spheres because it can uh, nullify any stat boost on your side of the field we'll go for the sunny day now and then that's going to set us up to be in that position where we are going to be able to go for that weather ball once again and with us at plus six blastoise at minus six special defense we're going to be in that position where the weather ball should be doing enough to pretty much close this raid out if not take us very close to being able to do it so you can see getting a pretty low health there but that's just down to the critical hit hopefully you don't incur any critical hits throughout the raid but with this weather ball here going to be in that place yet yeah, and there we go nice and easy and plenty of time left on the raid timer so it's worth taking those times just to set up throughout the raid when you can knowing at those kind of key points when the blastoise is going to nullify your stat drops on that 60 percent of the raid timer and then when it finally nullifies those remaining stat drops on its side of the field when it goes or that 50% health margin. So if it's above that, you're in a good place to kind of get yourself set up. And you do have the chance of getting drops for Herba Mysticas with the Blastoise, with this raid. Uh, every time you've got it, you're gonna get a small percentage, like we've covered a 3% drop of any one of the five Herba Mysticas you can get from this raid. So a really good one to farm while the event is running over this weekend. And of course, when you come out of the raid, if you are wanting to farm this raid, then come into your home menu, down into system settings, and then into system, down into date and time. Make sure your synchronized clock for the internet is off. Just toggle through all of the date and time options, hit your home menu, come back into the game, and it'll reset all your dens so you'll get that seven star terror raid event spawning on your map again. You'll be able to locate it pretty quickly on your map and then just fly over to it and farm these raids for those herba drops for as long as this event is running so that is the vaporium build how you go about being the blastoise pretty consistently with it still one of the best builds i think going into this for farming herba mystica raids for the fact that vaporium's accessible to everyone it's in the base games 
it's very easy you're not going to lose with it and you're going to have an easy time going into the blastoise maybe not the fastest but again if we come up with a faster solution to running through this blastoise to make getting those herba drops a lot easier we'll update with a video here on the channel so do keep an eye out for that one i hope you found this video useful though friends have a lot of fun grabbing yourself the blastoise and let me know down in the comment section below what pokeball you caught your blastoise in thank you so much for tuning in do drop a like do hit the subscribe button if you want to stay up to date with all of our pokemon content and i will see you all in another video very soon so until then friends take care of yourselves and bye bye